many people think because we're a special operations wing, the special part is our equipment. And I would argue that the special part is not the equipment. It's the airmen that we train, and it's the way in which we train them. What we found is when we empower them to do their job and to do it as best as they can, uh, their innovative nature absolutely is astounding. The maintenance group leadership has been equally innovative, seeking out ways to use NCO development in order to take care of our most junior airmen. So the class that I recently took was a class for NCOs, and it was focused for them to learn more about being inclusive in the workplace. I feel like it was very adaptive to what we do day in and day out, taking the leadership perspective to an Air Force problem. If someone's struggling, whether it's at work or outside of work, and reaching out and making sure that they're good mentally, physically, emotionally, and not reaching out too late. We discuss listening to learn instead of listening to react. You as an individual cannot help others if you don't help yourself first. They asked us, when you retire, how do you want to be remembered? Someone who is fearless, someone that makes everyone in the workplace feel comfortable. Each individual is different in that I am not so different being an NCO as they are an airman. We all make mistakes and I am not above that. In our ops group, they've really taken to heart the individualized learning to make sure that when we produce an airman out there, they understand that the continuum learning doesn't start and end with the 58th. It's just as a waypoint along their journey to become the best professional air crew member along the way. Instructors have always been at the heart of bringing students from where they start to where they need to be. And that has not changed in the 80 years that we have been teaching students. The National Guard works side by side with us, and without them it would be just impossible, just the way Manning has been stretched thin. 150th Sal has been a proud partner since 2011 with 58th Sal producing quality students. 150th Sal has the ability to bring a unique perspective from our drill status guardsmen that sometimes our active duty aren't able to. They really supply a day one person coming out of the T1 pipeline or a new load master and now that the CAE officials can you know support simulator training all the way from initial qual to mission qual and provide that turnkey aviator to the MAGCOMs, I feel like that is a huge win for everybody here within the TFI. I think there's a fundamental thing that doesn't change over time and what that is an instructor's passion to bring a student from from ground zero all the way to the point where they're combat ready in the aircraft. We have the opportunity to influence every single one of the helicopter pilots that comes into the Air Force and crew members, as well as most of our air crew as they go through the survival, evasion, resistance, and escape portion. What I went through in the SEER pipeline is something that really you can't get anywhere else. And just meeting people from all different walks of life, working alongside them as one whole cohesive team was an experience that I'll never forget. The most important thing for me as a SEER specialist is being able to help others and help guide them and mentor them and shape them as an individual. Things have to change, they have to evolve, just because we're not going to be able to use the same tools, same weapons to be able to defeat that adversary. Technology evolves, you know, so it's, the instructor has to evolve with that. As we get to know and understand the intelligence value of our threat, we also be able to adapt to that so we not only sustain a warfighter, but be able to get himself facilitating their own recovery. We're going to continue to modify and do what we need to do in order to keep our personnel safe and prepared for that worst day that may possibly happen. The innovative nature of our airmen has been absolutely crucial to the success of both the wing and our nation as we continue to fight our ongoing wars. Ah! 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 Ah!